it's working again, so hooray. What a troublesome problem. I know there was another way to fix it besides the whole preference thing. I'll have to look for it later though. So, once again, listening to Hyperlight Drifter by Disaster Piece. Let me know if it's too loud. I'm not sure, you know, what it sounds like to you all. And thank you, Bradley. And hello, Hubchot. Man, sorry for the trouble. Alright. You're still working, right? Okay. It's about to go hope on there. So, let's see. Probably, yeah, I should have probably drawn that in a separate layer. Oh well. Just say that's how he looks. Um, his head is not quite so tilted over. Let's see. He's got this awesome beard of tentacleness. going on and then he's got this wiggle going on this way. Oh yeah, so I've been listening to Legend of Drist, um, the audiobooks and stuff like that, and I just love the series. I don't know if any of you guys have like listened to R.A. Salvatore's Legend of the Drist series, but let me tell you, that is some good writing. And the audiobook is narrated by Victor Bivine. He's was really good at you know voice acting. I saw that he was one of the like top audiobook voice actors for the year, and I can totally believe it. It's because of the Legend of Dress series that really got me into. D&D. &D. And then that and watching Critical Role on uh, YouTube. Those guys are fun.
It's because even in fantasy, that does that doesn't even sound possible. These guys are just swimming around everywhere all the time. But I feel like is he leaning too much? Too I think he is. The day I see a fat mermaid is the day. We all know that is really wrong and that we should all cry for this fat mermaid that should not exist. <laughs> Alright, I'm just trying to like place mark the end of the tail. You know what? It's probably because that tail is just all wrong. The tail should actually be more like up here. <laughs> Fat mermaid. No, I just said the world would be wrong if that happened. Like, we would. It, it's like seeing a really fat wiener dog like to me that's just wrong no one should ever let their dog get that fat and even more so for a wiener dog because their legs are so short and their backs are fragile just saying so anyways my point for bringing that up is a fat mermaid would just probably sink to the bottom of the sea and kind of just wait for fish to wander into his mouth. Ah, <laughs> yes. That would be very unique. <laughs> That'll make it stand. You know, it's funny. It's probably going to be one of those things that you really don't care for. And it's going to be the thing that he'll really love. He'll be like, oh, this is genius. Ge bleh. I can't even say the word. This is genius. Please make all your environments brushed metal from now on. And then you're just going to smack yourself in the face and be like, I can't believe what I'm hearing. Frickin' <laughs> that works too. Blah. Oh jeez. Yeah. 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 Better. All right. Um. Erase this bit here. It's actually happened to me a few times where you present something that you just don't really expect will be picked and then it gets picked and you're like, no. <laughs> that was only there to fill space, not to actually be considered for real. Haven't done that in my current company, but in my past like experience dealing with people, it's surprising. It's as if the world is trying to troll you. <laughs> Perfect. 
See, you, you, what you really need to start doing is start trying. Start. Wait, how much I phrase this? Start not trying your best, <laughs> and you'll probably get really far. <laughs> Worst advice ever, but sometimes it works. I feel like his hand is just larger than life, and it's this is this isn't large enough. watched uh, Jungle Book. It looks really interesting. I hadn't really given any consideration until I watched a like hundred facts about the movies or about the Jungle Book movie. And yeah, it looks surprisingly interesting. actor casting uh, really intrigued me. They got Bill Murray and the voice of Goliath because how could you say no to listening to that man's voice? Um, let's see. And a few other people. I think Christopher Walken's in the movie too. Definitely interested in seeing the movie. Oh my goodness, I watched Zootopia with my dad and we both loved it. Like, I definitely think it is a winner. I want a DVD of that movie because of how good it was. It just seemed like there was a lot of like really thoughtful stuff in there that, you know, adults could appreciate and then kids could just generally enjoy. It seems like his arm is more this way. like to me. And then he's like, I'm gonna grab this sphere of mine. Sphere. Can't speak words tonight. I'm not tired. Rawr, I grabbed it from this angle. I'm a badass. Oh yeah, that part was funny. Like there were a bunch of other funny parts in the movie too, so don't uh, don't think that, that was the last of the humor. There's a lot more coming, and I thought it was really well done. All right, I really should start putting in the values. That's what I know I should be doing, but can I do it? I don't see myself getting to the color to the value part just yet. It's kind of one of those things where you know what you should be doing, and you know if if you were working with somebody, you'd be able to tell them like, hey, you know, cut that out and start doing this. But then when you do it for yourself, it's almost really impossible. Kind of like you know, cleaning, cleaning something. I find myself like really having an easy time cleaning other people's stuff, but then cleaning my own stuff. Oh wait! <laughs> I don't know what that psychology is. I'm sure there's a word for it because I can't be the only one.
is the sound of me making things. Alright, now I need to draw this other arm because, yeah, it needs to happen. So this hand's like, hey, my knuckles are right here. My whole fist is this big. And I can hold stuff with these fingers. <sighs> this is this is all me practicing on observation, right? Right. Yeah. There you go. Beautiful. Yeah, me too. Like, I like talking with people just because it kind of helps me to, you know, figure out my words better. Alright, I don't, I'm not going to even begin to, like, understand the business that's going on right there. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that, leave that out for now. You know, and I've always considered taking that Toastmasters class where practice on just speaking. I don't have a problem speaking to people, but trying to be very, uh, you know, clear and to the point is sometimes where I start to really, you know, lose footing. If you could not already tell with the way I'm talking, it's, it's, it's something I'd like to get better with. <laughs> Didn't mean for you to shrink. There you go. Just want to see that better. But yeah, I'm not afraid of talking, you know, to people. I have the want to talk to people. And doing this whole streaming thing is kind of like, you know, helping me hopefully get better at that. Just because I'm going to have to, like, talk a lot. End of awesome. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, and I, I do have this want to like help other people, so I really like find this is a good outlet for me to, to do that. And then also the, the guild that I'm in, like I'm by no means the best person in there at all. But I, I do like to try helping where I think I can help. Alright. You know, not, not super perfect, but the, but the idea is to do the value part. Alright. Got this. Alright. So, let's start with something... I guess not so bright. Let's bring the up opacity back down to somewhere around 70 ish. Check my brush settings, spacing. in the background. I think, I think that would really help. Let's darken it a little bit. Come on. There we go. I should also save this since I have made progress.
kind of, I don't know, get into it. Absolutely not sure <laughs> what to do here, and so I'm just kind of going into it. Headstrong, sort of. Let's see, so there's a little bit of darkness going on here. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep that here. fade in from here and then it gets dark over here <coughs> oh yeah the more important thing is really like testing it out like I think that's one of the most important things, because no matter how good it looks in whatever program you're in, it could just look like shit in the game. And that's where everyone's going to be viewing the final version of it. So, sounds like you don't need to work with those artists again, because even I, that sounds frustrating to me. Like, that just sounds like common sense. Oh jeez. Yep. That's when you say, not working with you again. Thanks for playing the game of let's be an adult and a proper professional. <laughs> and you failed. generally that this area here is really dark and it does get lighter like like that's yeah, like his eyeballs shadow though from whatever's going on up here. This here is definitely bright. Probably good enough for now. Of course, I'm going to kind of just define this area here a little bit more. Um, let's see, so I don't want to put too much detail in one area, so I should really be bouncing around more. see what else um, this area here seems to be very bright kind of goes all the way in there that it's not that dark there, but I'll fix that up later. Still just trying to get the general, like, idea of everything here. Let's see. Let's see, so this 
just kind of curves around like that. And then another darkish area. actually curve in more. There we go. Oh yeah, something to look forward to. Um, I've never been to E3 before, but I was able to get an industry pass to it because I work in the game industry. So it'll be my first time ever going to one of those things. I think a lot of people from my uh, from my job are also going because we all kind of signed up at the same time together. So yeah, that'll be fun. I mean, I'm not much of a consumer, so I highly doubt I'll be standing in any of those lines. Unless there's something, you know, Blizzard related, then I will stand in line. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not a big like, eh. I'm I'm good at just watching the trailers of stuff online. Yeah, it's coming along. Oh yeah, well I mean you're going to downtown LA and into a convention center. Like just being in a convention center just automatically makes everything expensive, so it's rough. Say so I'm going to do some lighting here, lighting here, just cuz. Trident. It's probably gonna be in darkness. and all that stuff when I add in the darkest darks and then the lightest, you know, the highlights. You know, I'm not worried about it. Just like everything else that I work on, and I will continue to say, a lot of it starts off looking really bad. But it gets better. I know the better will come, so I'm not worried. The, the lines and stuff at E3 are crazy. I don't know if that was your experience. Oh 
Oh cool, he had a booth at E3. That's awesome. The universe. Oh yeah, that's right. Are you gonna have a booth again there this year? Oh nice. major one that happens out there? What is it called? Gamescon? I forget exactly what it was called. It's the one that, uh, um, freaking, what was that scary game called? I already forgot. And my, my memory really sucks. Um, oh, it is that. Okay, so maybe my memory isn't so bad. That's awesome. Man, to travel the world like that? Super jealous. Freaking scales up the wazoo. No, no, no idea what I'm doing. Let's make some scales. Scales for days. Manly scales. They get tiny over here because reasons. Tiny, tiny. I, I'm like already uninterested in trying to keep it like super perfect because I know I'm just gonna paint over it. Freaking there. Take your scales. <laughs> perfect. Oh dang. Dude, you should get your passport right away because you don't know how long that's gonna take. Maybe the government just be like, oh, we decided to take a break or shut down for a couple of weeks and then you'll be screwed. That would suck. Not that I'm expecting the United States government to like shut down for any reason currently, but you know, I don't, I don't trust them to be reliable all the time. I don't know. I just, I'd rather be like, I'm personally the kind of person who likes to prepare ahead of time. Instead of hoping that people will do their job. <laughs> I guess that makes me kind of bitter, right? Men the scales. Or, you know what? What could even happen is that you'll do everything right, and then there'll be a mistake on your passport, and then you'll have to do it all over again. That's not really something that you can, like, you know, handle, or not something you can really prepare for, besides just getting it done early. don't want to pay for any expedited shipping or processing. Sh just what they want. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't think they're they're plotting to do that, but I I know a few people who had to expedite their passports because of whatever reason. I don't remember exactly. Yeah, man. That's so exciting. <laughs> I've never been to Europe before. I would like to check it out because I'm, I'm like such into like their history over there. See, I'm I'm odd in that I'm a child of mixed races, so I don't really have a culture to call my own. Um, so. You know, reading about the history of other people and seeing their culture and, you know, how they develop. It's really interesting to me. Look 
before anybody gets started about what about America's history, I'm just gonna say just America's still young. <laughs> and there's a whole lot of stuff that I'm not super crazy about because I've learned most of it in school. And yeah, not super into all that. And come on, get all the cool architecture too and like foreign countries, because they've just been around longer. America's had its own, you know, uh, art styles of architecture, but it's, it's America. What can I say? Alright, I just generalizing the color, the value, the scales, I'm done with it now. <laughs> Time to move on to something else. Get some of that darkness in there. <laughs> oh man, that's, that's America in a nutshell. <laughs> yep. Not crazy about that. <laughs> oh, it's a pretty good summary though. We came, we conquered, we got that. <laughs> So it's like meow 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 meow. <laughs> I don't need you to judge me. I needed those sounds and the sounds needed me. Plop. I don't even know what that is. Like what is that? Is that a turtle shell or is that I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Monster trucks a sport. I could see NASCAR being a sport because it's it's a it's the race of technology and yeah something else. I consider that more of a sport than the monster trucks. All right, let's look at this from a distance. What do we got here? Stuff. Oops, that's too big. Oh, you know what I could do? I wonder if this works. Um, burn, no, burn, dodge, dodge. Well, I don't know if that really works. Kinda too dang bright. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> uh, sure, why not? Cheating, I guess. I mean, it's not really cheating. That's way too bright. There. There. Shiny chest. They make NASCAR tracks in N figure eight. Or built on the Cotwell 
place that's... I would be in line to buy a ticket. <laughs> you just want to see people die. <laughs> uh, it'd be like, what's that uh, anime? Speed Racer? That stuff's crazy. Your face must be bright. And your lips. No, your lips. And your beard. Right. I guess that's 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 a good place to you know, save myself at. Oh man, what time is it? 11:43. Well, shit. I should be sleeping soon. Fun. Good practice. Good practice. Let's let's make it like you know, like he's like he's doing things. <laughs> like yeah, I'm casting a shadow. Just to like, you know, make things not so awkward as he floats in the air. Because I'm not done with it and I definitely do plan on continuing this. There! A little circle of stuff. Maybe I can even like do the circle. The circle business. Circle business! Darkness business. Kind of dark over here. It gets really freaking bright over here. Somebody's shining that light over there. She's right there. Then it gets dark again. Then it becomes reflection. That's a thing. The, you know, the contrast and stuff isn't all there, but it's a good start. <laughs> I totally sound convincing. I believe in the things that I say and tell you guys. It really is a start. <laughs> Show off your game, dude. Okay, hey, how's it going? Man, there's still, yeah, you know, I'm gonna do just a little bit more because I can see some areas that I can just like really quickly bust out. So, right arm is bright, not too bright though. Light 
that. Reflect light. Actually, I need some of this uh, tape right here. Yeah. Tapering detail. Probably just lighten that whole bit up over here. And then you have some darkness. Not too dark. Let's see. Well, right off the bat, I know his lips are gonna need some some highlighting. Brr. I'm angry. And his upper lip slightly appearing. Beard, just being beardy all over his face. And angry brows. I'm like narrating everything that I'm doing. That's totally fine. Do I make any 3D animations? Well, I do. As part of my profession, but I don't focus in it. Like, you know, I know how to do it and I can do it if I need to. But I'd rather be modeling. Because who wouldn't, right? That was like an inside joke for people who like to model. Not sure if that was really a joke. Whatever the heck this is, freaking. Turtle shell belt line. For some reason, yeah, let's just let's just do this. Now, see, he's got some reflect light here. Definitely got some shadows going on over here. So now I'm just really like going all in and just like doing small detail stuff, like not really going into anything. Just for fun. <laughs> Dude, Bob Ross. Bob Ross is the man. He definitely inspired me to keep making noises and to just making happy little mistakes and possibly random bushes. Happy random bushes. No bush can be unhappy in the world of Bob Ross. Bob Ross icon? That's awesome. Believe. Thank you. I do make a lot of cute guys. I enjoy doing that a lot. You know, as much as I like doing environment art, for some freaking reason, I like drawing and painting people. I'm 
I'm broken, I think. Like, I hardly draw buildings, but I love drawing people and organic stuff like trees and just stuff like that. But then when I model and create things in 3D, I like doing that stuff. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. You are probably... You're probably gonna make the most perfect thing ever for your client. Like, no, but now that I think about it, don't start liking it because the minute you start liking it is gonna be the very minute that your boss is not gonna like it. Because, yeah, they sense it. <laughs> They'll be like, oh, you like that? Well, shoot. I don't think it's good anymore it's not what I liked first you know so just don't even mention it don't even mention that you're starting to like it or you know you think that this might work just just stay totally pessimistic all the way through and think that what you're making is the worst I'm just kidding I don't want you to do that but <laughs> just <laughs> I don't even know where to go with that I'm gonna stop because that just sounds terrible it was a bad joke Wait, so that's what it was before? Alright. Like I said, just just do it, but don't don't like, you know, don't really like it. <laughs> but I, I like that picture though. So your boss is probably just gonna never really like that that image. Dude, that sucks. That looks really cool. The fact that you're redoing that just makes me sad. Like, what more do you want? You know what? Sorry, I changed topics in my mind already. You make that dark. It needs to be dark. I'm gonna say dark like my soul, but my soul's not really that dark. Only sometimes. That is true. Unless he changes his mind again, which can totally happen. <laughs> Good thinking. Yeah, like I said, as long as they keep paying, fine. The minute they don't, and it's like, well, I guess you don't really believe in the product. Or at least just make up your mind so you don't have to keep paying the extra. I don't know. I don't I've never been in a situation where I've had that much bargaining power. But, you know, you might. Also really depends on how stubborn your your uh is. Hopefully not too much.
Oh, is that his shoulder? I think that's his shoulder. I don't think it should be there. <laughs> I'm just gonna darken that area. Pretend it doesn't really exist. And then, yeah, darkness. And then freaking, I don't know, freaking scales of death, to me at least. Arr. I'll figure out the whole scale business later. stayed up a little bit too late when you're starting to feel hungry again. I think, I think, I think I should sleep. <laughs> I don't want to eat. I shouldn't be hungry right now. Alright, I'm putting too much detail on here for something that I'm not ready to call done yet. But you know what, I think it's going to help. <laughs> I think when I come back to this, maybe tomorrow, or whenever, that I'll at least have a good spot that I'll be like, Hey, thank you, past Esther, for drawing in that bit of detail, because I wouldn't have known what to do whatsoever at all. Oh, goodness. figure that out later. Freaking scales that do darkness. Yeah. Just like that. You know what? I want to make this just a little bit, just a little bit brighter. I'm cheating it. I know it's not really that bright, but it looks good. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? this. I'm going to sleep. It's the curse. The curse of the painting. Seriously, I'll come back to this later. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm surprised I got this one. I was, I'm pretty sure it was like 30 minutes ago that I said this looks like shit and it's going to be like ugly for a while until I start doing all this other stuff to it. But, you know, surprisingly, it did actually go places in, in the time that I, that I did. Like, how long have I been streaming? I've been streaming for an hour. And probably for like 10 minutes of that hour I spent... No, wait, 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 no, that was before. Yeah, so I actually did spend an hour. Because I had to stop my stream and everything. So, an hour of work. Well, alright, now, for reals, not joking. I'm going to bed. So I can wake up and do my job tomorrow. And then come back here and do more streaming. After work. So thank you everybody for joining me. Bradley, you are awesome to talk to. Thank you for joining me again. And hopefully tomorrow this will be looking better than ever. And you know, I'm gonna add some of those cracks in there and it's gonna look sweet. And mocap, thank you. Good night to you as well. And thank you for joining me. That that uh uh, Bob Ross emote thing has just made my night because that's the cutest thing ever. And uh, yeah. And if you guys like my stuff, 
please, uh, I believe it's uh, follow me on Twitch or, you know, go to my YouTube and see some of my previously recorded stuff. And hopefully sometime this week I'll have my, uh, my shelf that I painted up in a nice little time lapse for you all. So yeah, thank everybody who, you know, came out to the chat room to chat with me and, and I thank the lurkers for lurking. See you next time.